Hi, I'm Sarah Abraham and this is a video presentation on the topic surface tension. This is a simple straw experiment where I trap water inside the straw blocking my finger on one side and water does not flow out from the other side. But when I release my finger, water immediately flowed out. To understand this, we need to zoom in onto the surface of the water. As shown in the video presentation, this is one molecule of H2O. The molecules of water are closely packed and move freely unlike solids since the molecular force of attraction is weaker than solids and stronger than gases. But this is not what happens. Rather, the surface molecules are compressed more tightly together at the surface, forming a sort of skin at the surface with less distance between them compared to the molecules below. To understand this, we need to go to the very basic atomic structure of water. Water comprises of two atoms, oxygen and hydrogen, and they are bonded as shown in the video presentation. In this, hydrogen is generally electropositive in nature and oxygen is electronegative. Since opposites attract, hydrogen and oxygen automatically gets attracted to each other. This makes water a unique solution since it has strong attraction between its molecules. This is also called as H-bond or hydrogen bonding. So to test this theory, I decided to take a bunch of coins and a glass filled with water till its brim. This is an idea behind this experiment. The water molecules present in this glass undergoes two kinds of forces, cohesive force and adhesive force. Cohesive force is the intermolecular forces present in the water. Adhesive force is the force of attraction between the water and the glass. So, if these two forces are acting on water, that means a surface tension should be created when I add coins into this glass of water, preventing it from flowing out. I decided to make my dad perform this experiment, becoming the scientist. Hope you enjoy it. Pa, how many coins do you think will uh, stay in the glass before water falls out of it? Five. Five? Let's see if my dad's number is right. So we started putting the coins inside and it took 26 coins in total before the surface tension broke. The cohesive forces within the water molecules were so strong. So I can say that my father was way off his count. This is him adding the final few coins before water started spilling over. Oops! So I tried another experiment based on surface tension with a coin and a dropper. Don't worry, it has water in it. The theory of this experiment is similar to the before one. The cohesive forces of the water droplets should be able to hold the water within the coin. The question is, how many droplets of water? Droplets of water will fit in that one coin? Around 12. 12? Let's check it out. Well, that is a pretty big number. You can already see the cohesive forces acting within the water droplets. 20 droplets and still counting. This number is staggering. This is my mom adding her 30th drop of water. 30? This is my mom adding her 40th drop of water and surface tension is still maintained without a single drop of water coming out. This is my mother adding her final few drops of water. My mom was four times off the number she had assumed. This experiment shows how surface tension is acting and how the cohesive and adhesive forces are acting between the water droplets. It took a final 44 droplets before water began to leak. That is the end of my experiment. My sincere gratitude to my principal and my physics teacher Mrs. Mohan for teaching me these concepts and giving me the opportunity to perform these experiments at home. I learned a lot about surface tension and I hope you enjoy this video presentation.